Hello everyone. Today what I'm doing as you can see is setting in the distributor. Now I'm going to show you how to do this. This is how I do it. First off, you want to make sure your engine is on top dead center compression stroke. Now I know that mine is because whenever I put the timing chain on it was on top, top dead center compression stroke and I haven't moved the position of the crankshaft since <clears throat> excuse me and you want to do this before your torque converter bolts because you have to move the comp move the engine around so what you want to do is in this book here as you can see there's the back of the engine there's one three five seven you know and as you can see that one right there is dark that signifies number one and you can see how the distributor turns in a counterclockwise manner. So what you'll do is first just get your distributor and get a feel for how it sits whenever it's seated. See in the very bottom there how it's flush? It's not sticking up at all, it's down on the block. That's what you want. Now as you can see, the point of my distributor is not pointing towards the back. So what you'll do is pop the, pop the distributor back out. These ones have their O-rings, so they might be a little tricky to get back out. I'm actually going to set you guys down right here for a second. Okay, now that we have it back out, we know that our rotor has to spin this way. So what controls the position of our rotor is our cam gear and our oil pump and obviously we can't move the, cha the cam gear or else that will throw us a lot of time so what we can move is our oil pump now you want to save that oil pump tool you used stick it down in there until it's on the oil pump and turn it a little bit now it'll take a couple tries. Set you guys back down. And try whenever you're putting it in, try to clock the the uh, rotor to where you want it. And see how it lines up. If it doesn't line up, just keep turning it until it drops in. Then you know how far you have to move your oil pump. See, we're getting pretty darn close. It's fully seated. Now I'm just going to stick the distributor cap on and just see where it falls. Get rid of this hose. Now the, the cap has that notch there, you have to line that up. I remember where the notch is on this thing. Okay, so as it sits, our number one is back here. So what you could do is turn this base until, see how you can turn the base until it lines up with this. So that's basically all you really have to do as far as setting in a distributor. Then once you have it, this rotor tip lined up with the number one terminal, then you can go ahead and start putting your plug wires back on which if you follow, follow your firing order back here it's 1843657 if I remember correctly it's the same as a small block Chevy should be anyways but that's basically the gist of it is getting that rotor to where you can have it lined up with number one and you really don't have to have the rotor pointed in any specific direction 
just as long as that number one will be matching up with the rotor on top dead center compression. So that's the gist of it, but just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you for watching.